Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. If you're wondering, we're surrounded. We are surrounded by puppies. Daisy's having a nap. Oh, Daisy's under my bum. Hey. Hey. <laughs> she growls, but not in anger. She like, she's like, she's a really vocal dog. Anyways, good morning. Welcome to today's video. I hope you guys are having an awesome October. October just flew by. Today, guys, guys. Today is October the 19th. It is one day till my birthday. One day before Sophie's birthday. What'd you get for your birthday, Sophie? A puppy. Tomorrow for her birthday, we have a really busy day. It's just gonna be a small celebration with family, us, just us. I'm getting ice cream cake. Yeah, it's her favorite thing. It's all of our favorite thing except for Sam. All of my kids love ice cream cake. I love ice cream cake. I mean, who doesn't love ice cream cake? If, if you hear all that noise, it's Molly. Mm-hmm. It's always Molly. Molly is the noise maker, the busy girl, the one that's always moving. And Daisy is the one that always always sleep. sleeping, always sleeping. She eats a big, huge bowl of breakfast, goes outside and goes pee, runs upstairs as fast as she can, claws at the bottom of my bed till I pick her up, and then she snuggles in for like an hour. Right, Ma right, Daisy? Like, look at this girl. She can find a blanket no matter where she is. Like, if she sees a blanket, she can climb. She finds a way to climb underneath it. In fact, I know she's a baby, but she's the only dog that we've ever had that slept like this. Like, she sleeps so much. Anyways, welcome to today's video. We're sitting down to do homeschool. I'm doing our read aloud. We're almost done our book. It was really good. I finished my book before Fable you. Fable Hayden, Pax. yep. Sophie finished Pax. Was it good? Yeah. Yeah. It was just boring at the beginning and in the middle. And kind of at the end? Yeah. <laughs> It was better at the end, but I almost cried. Sophie is not a big reader. She doesn't love books. Like, Brooklyn loves books. Gabby loves books. I love books. Sophie and Sam? Because the books are boring in the middle, in the beginning, and they're only good at the end, but then they end. I know. So, people who love books know that you have to get through the boring to get to the good. So, just skip it? No, you have to read it. So for the longest time, I haven't been able to say exactly what I've felt because I didn't have enough knowledge to figure out what I wanted to say. But I've been getting a lot of comments about me getting a horse lately and I figured out what I wanted to say, what I felt and believed all along ever since we started our horsey journey. There are no rules to getting a horse. Anybody can have a horse. Anybody can be successful with a horse. I know people who have learned to ride all on their own without an instructor. I know people who have horses in their yard just as pets that they love and take care of and dote on. Horses can mean different things for different people and I want you all to know that horses are hard, it's true, but anybody can take care of a horse. I know that there are a lot of people out there that think that buying a horse is a process, that you have to earn the right to have a horse, that you have to advance through a series of requirements before you can get a horse, but that's simply not true. Ideally, that would be an easy way, or ideally, that would be a great way, but it's not the only way. There are just as many ways to have a horse as there are individuals. Some people have said that I just want to get a horse just to have a horse. Nobody in their right mind would ever want to have a horse just to have a horse. It costs thousands of dollars every year in vets and farriers and chiropractors and food and care and lessons to have a horse. Nobody would voluntarily ever just want to have a horse and pay that much money just to have a horse. I want to have a horse that I can ride, a horse that I enjoy riding. And I enjoy trail riding on Pasofino's on gated horses. There are people that have horses that don't ride them. My point is, there are no rules to wanting a horse, getting a horse. Someone said that I am only getting a horse because of YouTube. Like, getting a horse has nothing to do with YouTube. Again, nobody in their right mind would ever spend that amount of money just to have a horse for YouTube. It is nothing like that. You guys, I want you to know, there are different there are just as many different ways for wanting a horse and for getting a horse as there in our individual people. Your journey is your own. Your path is your own. There are no rules to life. There are no rules to your journey. I'm saying that everybody's journey is their own. And, and I want you guys all to know that. And I still can't figure out how to say exactly what I feel. But anyway, that's my whole point. There are different journeys for everyone and no one journey is superior to another. Everybody's journey is their own and mistakes are just opportunities to learn more. See like my tattoo, it's, it's a seahorse. 
Okay, there's Gabby. I was gonna do a flower one, but then the flower one stuck to on like the plastic. Yeah, I chose this instead. Here's Molly's. Come here. Molly has a, a has a tattoo. Molly's been tatted. Yeah. Molly has one right there. Uh, see it? That's it. What is it? It's a flower. It's a flower. Molly's a flower. Molly got a flower tattoo. Imagine we took her to the vet. <laughs> the vet would be like, Oh my gosh! Hey Molly, Ruby, show off your tattoo. What did Molly get? Oh, a daisy. Ruby got Ruby. a yellow flower with a, a pink stem. Flower. <laughs> and Daisy got nothing. Daisy Daisy's... got to sleep. <laughs> daisy got to sleep. No, Daisy got a new She got Molly. spots. She got spots. She has enough tattoos. Oh, she got a smiley face on her back somewhere. You know you're an equestrian when even the rain doesn't stop you from riding your when horse. When you have an indoor, you can still ride and ride. Yeah, rain, snow. You name it, we ride in it. Oh, Storm did a shelter. Aww. Storm, Storm and Tex are best friends. Look at those markings. That's adorable. And then if Finny and Chino are more about the food. More, I love our They all come. I love them. I went by your house, what a big mistake. Gabby was going for Storm and then she turned around and came back without Storm and I was like, oh no, what does that mean? And I asked her and she said he's got a cut where the saddle will go, not really bad, but it'll heal like really quick, she said, but she doesn't want to ride him with a cut. So horse number two, it is Porcino. All right, so Gabby's doing some stretches. It doesn't seem bad today. No, I think what Brandon said is true. Gabby's doing some stretches on this big boy. All right, so apparently Sophie's gotten past the the fear stage again. Yeah, as soon as he walk into the arena, he poops every single time, but I'm glad he did it in one pile instead of running. So he's like, oh, oh. Really <laughs> yeah. Here, I'll hold your horse, you clean it. I'm taking jump time. <laughs> okay, I'll give you that one. He's pretty wet. Anyway, she's setting jumps up. She's got it all planned out. She knows exactly what she wants to work on. She reminds me of Gabby at the same age. What are you working on? She's making an oxer. So Sophie just walked in the barn all by herself and she's making an oxer. Cause yeah, that's how we roll when we're almost 11. 11 tomorrow. This is her birthday ride. Cause we're not riding on her birthday. We have a busy day planned tomorrow. See, I can step inside of it. That's an actual oxer though? No. Well, this is a crossroad. That's a crossroad oxer? Three I mean, your reins. Yeah, you know, with this one, I can't step in between it. Oh, so is that what makes an oxer? You can step in between it? No. <laughs> nice try. Oh well, that's, that's good. Kind of an All right, I see where you're going with it. So yesterday, Gabby had problems with Chino. He was throwing fits whenever she would canter and ask him to collect on one rein, the left rein or the right rein. I don't know what rein. What? So she was worried about his neck, thinking maybe he needs to be adjusted, but she's getting adjusted on Friday. So that's all good. But I messaged Brandon, who is our coach right now and said tell him what the problem was and he said before he could even tell him what the problem was he's like yeah it's on this rain right and i'm like yeah and he's like yeah it's because it's her weak ride it's her weak side it's the side she doesn't ride him on and he needs to be supported more on that side so that's what i told gabby we are finally up and at it and ready to roll gabby what are you doing gabby's getting aids to help to help see if it supports Chino. But look at, I love that white on her. We bought that shirt at Walmart, but it looks like a show shirt. And it's like, it's that kind of material that washes really nice. I love it. There may be a method to Sophie's madness. She was the first one in the arena. She got in here and she changed all the jumps to be Sophie sized. We're gonna walk over the purple. All right, walk over the purple thing. Knows what the color that green thing? This thing. You said purple. Chino be sad. He sees Gabby putting on those spurs. And he's like, oh no, not those. I think the rain makes everybody feel miserable. Hey, Chino, hey. Chino, you feel miserable? All the hair, all the water. Do you love that Storm and, and, and Tex are best friends still? Yeah. So guess how many times Sophie's complained about the new bit? 
Not the new bat. Yeah, he jumps the poles on the ground, but he doesn't jump small jumps. So basically, Sophie has complained since we changed the bit just the first day, and then since then, zero times. She hasn't even really paying attention to the fact that he has a new bit. I love it. Like, I think she just needed to get there, and the old bit was kind of like a crutch for her. I think Finn's loving the new bit. Do you think Chino's picky like Storm, or do you think he likes everything? Can you what, Sophie? Why? See, you should never mention it. She wants to change his bit back. Food, food, fruits and vegetables. Yeah, tell us why. It does it bit does it is it pinchy? Yes. All right. Well, let's get him a softer one. Yeah. Cause he does okay with this. He listens with it. Yeah. Just when it pinches him, he runs away. That's okay. Why he doesn't want to walk. All right. It's pulling and it's him. All right. Well, we have another one here. We should try it. What one? The one that used to be Chino's. It's not pinchy. Oh, yeah, we can try that. All right. Sophie wants to try the new or your, the bit you brought here. So with. Bring your bridle home and we'll change it, okay? Because this one's pinchy. And he runs away. That turned out well. We're going to try a snaffle on Finn. Brennan will be so impressed. I don't know, he's more responsive, which I like that. Because he pretends that he can't feel my leg. You feel like he's better? I'm going to have to pant. He's perfectly fine at the top. Oh, okay. Tell me how to live instead. Just open your eyes and take my advice Stop rolling the dice and just compromise It's the chance of your life He doesn't like this. Sylvie thinks he doesn't like the pinchy part of this bit. One thing that our trainers taught us is that for her, when she's nervous to canter him, and she was a bit nervous to canter him because he go What our trainers taught her is that when she's feeling nervous, when she's feeling nervous to canter, take him over a jump and let him canter away because he likes to do that and he tends to do it, go into it better. the way that he was giving her problems yesterday. So Gabby's really been paying attention to like listening to her horse and he was saying that something wasn't right yesterday and sometimes for her and for him it's how she's riding him. Okay a hundred percent of the time it's how she's riding him and he will tell her. So it's just figuring it all out. Ooh, seems better. A lot better. I'd love to show you guys what he does when he throws a fit, but it's not like so super obvious. Like you only know when you're riding him. Chino's maintained his weight now without that fat supplement. Like we haven't been giving it to him since the summer. Sophia, you are turning way too late to that. My advice, stop pulling the dice and just compromise. It's the chance of your life. We're going to 
show, he, she's gonna show us that he does better in a different bit. We're not in love with the bit because Sophie's nervous and holding back a lot and then he's not able to go forward. I don't know if that's what you guys are seeing too. D-rink, French link, snaffle. French link, snaffle. Same thing Gino has on, just locks in the middle. The water... Waterford? Waterford is more bendable, but this bends just like... Don't be fighting with your brother. He says he looks pretty in a D-ring. Walk stop so he knows it's new. Hey, stop it. He does this thing where if you walk, he has to walk beside you. Aww. Um, he's trained, but he thinks that when you walk further away to see, that he has to walk with you. Let's see how he goes in this. Look, when he pulled back, he's not tossing his head. Yeah. Except for then. <laughs> Except for then. That's him getting used to a new bit. Yeah, that's him getting used to a new bit. Good job, Sophie. He's gonna pinch him. Yeah, he probably does. He's probably anticip like, oh, yeah, he's probably anticipating the bit the pinch. And now he's like, yes. Oh there, he's flowing. Okay, I think he likes that bit. Now breathe out. Up. There you go. Pretty press the lead still though. Still pulls a bit. And press the lead. There you go. Oh, every mistake makes you feel like a fake. Take control of your own. See, it was a bit. Now I can press release. Now you can press release? I can. Without him taking off. Yeah. He's just scared of that bit because it's going to pinch him. Yeah, head. so the theory is and is that horses that have back pinch... Back all the time, it was pinching some horses him, pinching need them. a good pinchy bit. Some horses need them, but some horses but run. They run when you pinch them. This is Finn getting used to a new bit. Do it, Finn. Show them. He's like, what is this thing inside my mouth? I'm proud of Sophie for trying new things. Just a whirling dervish of jumps. Now all you need, Sophie, is a friend your age to ride with. Okay, I'm going over the black. Okay. I've seen those faces. I've heard all the lies. But you ain't gazing on someone in You're just denial. following Sophie around. Cause you want dollar bills right now. But you gotta work real hard. I know you want it to be easy. So let your guard down. And I say, see it in your mind. Trust. Make it too. 
very impressive. So Gabby does this new thing I noticed and I didn't I was like asking her she she dives forward with one arm like one but actually That's didn't I'm lifting my body and have to sit up so I can pull them that way. Yeah. Didn't the trainer that we took the clinic didn't she say to do that though? No, she was telling us to do it but not telling us to do it. She's like, "Look at me so when you two you go like that." All right, so the girls have convinced me that the boys need their blankets. So I'm going to get their blankets and we're going to put them on. And it starts. The whole blanket change is my least favorite thing. You also know that you are a horse girl if you look at the temperature. If you look at the forecast and you recognize that colic season is among us, upon us. Colic season. No. Mm -mm. No. Colic season. So one day it's going to be 21 degrees and then the next day it's going to be like 11 degrees. So. There, it's gonna be. It goes from hot to really cold. Yeah. All right. What is Chino getting today? Milk. A couple glass of milk. Compliments of horsing around treats. Yeah, you like that company, don't you? All right. It's time to go home. Uh oh. The storm gone. Look at the turkeys. Seven turkeys. Look how cute that boy is. Yep. Look at Texas over there making fr friends with new horses. For any of you guys to think homeschool is easy peasy, well then just know that Sophie's still doing homeschool. Well, well we have some. She's doing a book report that she has to get done and we're starving. And sharpening the pencils suck. So we're having chicken Caesar salad and chicken. Once in a while, I feel like I have a day where I'm really quiet and, and I'm not down, but like I'm more down than I am normally and I swear it has to do with the weather. I hate dark, dreary days, but having to get out of the house and take care of your horses really helps with that. But look at this. So look at this. We got puppy number one, two, three, just normal dogs hanging out looking for scraps of food while we get supper ready. And then over here, puppy number four. And puppy number five. What are you doing, Missy? So she's just had supper. Just had supper, and this is what she does after she has supper. Every single day. Every single meal. She has to climb up and cuddle. <laughs> she's tired. She's like, why is everybody talking to me about me? You know if you eat too much and then you feel like tired and bad after? That's how she eats. Yeah, <laughs> like the food is liquid and it has a lot of water content in it, so it bloats her. Hey guys, it's time to announce the winner of our Martin Special Moments Horse Treats. Two lucky winners are gonna get a huge bag of treats. And then we're gonna announce the new prize that you Ooh, guys can win. Can I choose a new prize? No, I'm gonna show you what it is. Sophie wants what's in this box. Sophie's like, I want them to, I wanna give away this box. What about what's in this box? What is you it? like what's in this box? All right, let's do it. It's Gabby's turn. Hey, don't look at me, you guys. I've just had a bath. It's late. It's late at night. All right, Gabby, get scrolling. Gabby's scrolling. Molly is making noise. She wants somebody to throw the ball. All right, Gabby's taking 15 years. Just scroll and stop. Georgia Cole. Georgia Cole. All right, let me see. Georgia Cole, 25. You want a bag of horse treats? Congratulations. Paige Heard. Paige Heard. Let's see. Paige Heard. All she commented was done. All right, we have our two winners. Thank you guys so much for, for playing. Okay, I can No, 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 no. That's not what we're doing. <laughs> Today, uh, tomorrow's prize is going to be a super fun one. Um, you have to go onto Instagram for sure for this one. This one is going to be an online prize. Some of the prizes will be online. It will save me shipping them. Okay. I'll be getting them for you shipped. Today's prize 
is from Equizen. You guys know that is a company that is near and dear to our heart. They sent us some supplements to help Finny way back in the winter to help him calm down an all natural supplement. Um, and they are giving away an Equizen meat size medium black and charcoal base layer. So you guys are gonna get a base layer. An Equizen t-shirt unisex size small navy blue. And they're gonna give away a class pack of Equizen Pro powder. So that's the same supplement that they gave to us, but that you're gonna get all that. We all have some Equizen stuff. We Can have, have it? We, I know, like there's, it's nice stuff, you guys. Um, they, so you're gonna get a base layer and a t-shirt and some Equizen. So that is super cool. So to win this prize, you have to follow Equizen Pro on Instagram. Oh.